This video is sponsored by Skillshare. In this Sailing Noodles, we welcome Amanda back to the crew and welcome new crew Sarah and find some amazing places to go snorkeling. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Thank you so much. Go to patreon.com slash sailing noodles to get early access to videos. In the previous video, we left the east end of St. Thomas and headed for St. John where the water is absolutely beautiful. St. John has some of the prettiest water I've seen and is a great place to do some snorkeling. There's a mermaid coming up on my back deck right here. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, I'm gonna put him back. Yeah, we're putting him back. But I just wanted to show Bobby who has a hurt foot. In hindsight, probably uh, foiling behind the dinghy is probably not a good idea. No. Uh, I'm icing down my foot where it whacked that panel. I don't know, I don't know how well it shows, but it's a pretty good golf ball or eh, bigger than a golf ball size on there. But. Uh, it could have been worse, like if I'd hit the sharp point of that. So we're not gonna do that anymore. But we're just, we, so we just wakeboarded after that. Well, they did, I drove. Guys, let me talk to you about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring courses for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop existing skills, or just get lost in your creativity. Skillshare is an easy to navigate website with all different categories broken down into different areas of learning. There are thousands of different courses from art to business. One class that I think is interesting is this creative writing course by New York Times bestseller Roxanne Gay. She breaks her technique down into a step-by-step -step process and teaches you how to get those creative juices flowing and stay on task. It's created specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads and they're always adding new classes. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial membership to Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. Say hello. How's it going, guys? It's a new dinghy. Yeah, it's pretty nice, huh? Wow. What do you think? Uh, how do you like the dinghy upgrade? It's amazing. I yeah. mean, compared to the paddle boards that we had, yeah. <laughs> this is the Bentley of dinghies. That's right. See, Sarah. Uh, this is Sarah, by the way. Hi. We'll get. We'll give you a, a better op, uh, introduction here in a little bit, but we got like a long, well, 10 minute dinghy ride back to the boat. Welcome on board, guys. I need to so, grab a drink. Hold oh, on. she's got to grab a drink. I gotta get okay. a drink. The seltzers are so good. They have love seltzers, right? They're called yeah. love. Yeah. They're so good. They're made so, here. Cheers. cheers. So Amanda's back and Sarah. And so cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, so now you are also a co-founder at Eternal Floor. I am. Okay, well, cool. So eternalfloor.com. And uh, they got lots of roses and stuff here that we'll show you a little bit, some of their products. But now, right now we're gonna go scare Sydney because she's hanging not on the front of the boat. So here we go, ready? So, water right there. Ready? Fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow, you just caught it? <laughs> just caught the remora. Sydney's friend Dustin is a fishing guide down in St. John. No! <laughs> yes, no! <laughs> Remora's gotcha. <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? Oh. Nice place to have dinner. Oh, I'm in heaven. So we got steaks. Sydney's inside cooking her vegetarian stuff. Oh so I made steaks gosh. for everybody. So we're meat lovers like here. Amazing. 
<laughs> Bobby, you should go on like the Food Network. <laughs> You haven't eaten it yet. You haven't tasted it yet, so we'll see. Well, it looks delicious. You're there gonna you go. like, no, it's good. All right. No, like, Bobby always makes good food. You're gonna like give uh, his specialty though is pasta. <laughs> like Bobby Flay. Yes. Cooking, you know. cooking doodles. That's my new cooking show. Cooking doodles. There you go. New show. I feel like that could be a vibe. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh -oh. whatever. Uh -oh. So, so Sydney has made her vegetarian option. <laughs> you know how that I ate the good stuff. Yeah, but so how is your yeah, veg vegan um, sausage? Oh, it tastes like shit, and the tarpon <laughs> won't even eat it. This is not gonna like it. Let's try Honestly, this. Honestly, if you put it in any kind of sauce, like ranch, it's gonna taste good. Yeah, it's true. It does not taste really like hot dog though. It's, it's just very bland. Yeah. There's like no taste. Oh, well, no, it's got an aftertaste. The right ones. No, yeah. but you can. Yeah, the aftertaste what sucks. Put, what <laughs> Man, that aftertaste sucks. Glad you had the steak then, Bobby. Baka? What happens if you actually catch it? Then you gotta like take it off. Bitch! Oh, wait, I think I caught it. <laughs> I think I actually caught it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Suck my <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, there we go. Now I gotta freaking deal with getting a fish off the hook. We're not keeping that thing. This is awesome. I'm a fisherwoman. Okay, let it back in the water so it can breathe. Make a run yeah. into Cruise Bay today. I gotta hit the drugstore and uh, get some stuff. We're just gonna go for a dinghy ride. Dinghy ride. Let's do it. And I think I said it before. I like to when we're tying on the dinghy. I used to like I used like to use these little carabiner clips. Um, I think I said it before, but it just gives me a lot more security and sense of peace of mind knowing that it's clipped on rather than tied on. Because you know you might have. You never to keep... know who's tying it yeah. on. <laughs> not you. I'm not saying you. I'm just saying me. You know, maybe have. I like to... it because it's way easier too. Yeah. Sarah and Amanda were sleeping in and doing some work while we ran some errands. I found that our Tohatsu 40 horsepower pushes us along at a little over 20 miles per hour at 4200 RPM. So this is like the public dinghy docking in St. John where everybody ties it up. You can see all sorts of dinghies here. If you're going to leave it for longer, I'd suggest tying it, like locking it. A lot of people have locks in there. We're just going to be an hour or so. Hopefully nobody will steal our dinghy. Hopefully not. It's the nicest one. Yeah. Actually, it would be pretty easy just to lock it up. I'm going to do that. Okay. We're, we're going to do it just in case. You never know. are actually very well stocked here. I mean, anything you pretty much anything you want, but it's more expensive, <laughs> a lot more expensive, but still pretty good. It's a good thing I brought my Sherpa along to carry everything. Always willing to Sherpa. <laughs> it's a quick and easy trip into Cruise Bay in St. John to pick up some groceries and some adult beverages. While we were there, we stopped at the fuel dock to pick up some gasoline for the high field dinghy. All right, whenever you're ready. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Amanda and Sarah were still hard at work with their eternal floor business, so Sydney and I decided to go for a little snorkel.
Sometimes I think they're right, honey. Sorry for the tears in your eyes. This is probably the biggest turtle that I've ever swam with. There were lots of turtles chowing down on the seagrass. Yeah, y'all need to stop working and get in the water. We just saw a massive turtle. Oh my God. What? Huge. I love turtles. I mean, I'm not joking. His shell was that big around. I'm not even joking. Wow. Okay, all right. All right, we're going in. Okay. Enough work. Okay, okay. done in the pause. We're going in. Uh, we all grab Oscar and we can put him right here. Yeah. Sure. We've been having an issue with the uh, anchor chain castling um, when we pull it up. That means when the anchor chain like starts piling up on itself um, and then it gets to the point where it piles up underneath and it won't, won't let any more down in. So what I'm going to do now is actually climb forward and move some of the chain over so that when it puts back on top, it, we won't have that problem anymore. So just move the base of the pile, spread it out a little. It should be all right. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Hey, you can't really see in there. It's pretty dark. All right, hopefully that's gonna be enough. Just moving the chain over a little bit so that it can stack up on top of itself a little better. We had a great time at Rendezvous Bay on the south side of St. John. It was time to head east a little bit over to Little Lamisher Bay. You motorheads can tell me. I mean, the port starboard engine smokes for about a minute or two. I've started. I think it's pretty normal for these uh, two-stroke diesels, so I'm not real worried about it. But it just smokes for about a minute or two, and then it stops. I drove us on top of the anchor while the girls hauled up the anchor chain. It's a nice crew I got here. It was only a few miles east over to the beautiful waters of Lamisher Bay. Be sure to click that subscribe button and watch us continue our adventures in the Caribbean. 